Hello and welcome in this tutorial. Here I would like to show you how we can use an image, one strong color and a few objects to create a completely unique title slide which you can edit, change, you can change the color, you can change the objects within here. I'll show you how you can approach a design like that. Hello and welcome everybody in 2017. Let's start out strong by creating a really interesting slide. Now I want to select an image for my entire design. I just went to unsplash.com and wrote here black and white. You can also use a normal image and then adjust it to be to be black and white, to be to be gray, to be dark. You know, those images are very strong. You can, for example, use this image, then use color over it and it will gain new power, new design, and it will give an amazing feeling for the presentation. So let me browse the photographs. I will just click here and I will download this image. PowerPoint is up and running, my image is prepared, so I'll select this image and I'll place it in the presentation. At first I'd like to make sure that it is not much bigger than my presentation, so I'll make it to this size. I go to crop and I crop the image to the right amount. It should be cropped in this place. Okay, this image is very big, so it goes slow. Okay, I should crop it now, but I'll select this image and I'll reposition it. So I have the children in the middle. Okay, or I would like to the children to stay on the right side because we will use the left side for our design. Okay, I'll select crop and this is my initial design for this slide. Now, once you are ready with that, select insert, go to shapes and I want a triangle. I would like the right and left triangle. So I'll select right triangle, I'll select my shift key and I'll make a perfect equal object like this. Then I'll control C, control V it and I'll rotate it by holding my shift key because else I'll not have the snapping. Okay, let me rotate it perfectly like that and let me place it very close to it. Like it's placed now properly, but I'll select my arrow keys and right, 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 up, 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 right, right, just so I have a little spacing between them. Now, please watch the simplicity of this design. Let me select both objects with my shift key. I need to make sure that both are selected. I'll go to format, shape outline, no outline. Then I will go to shape fill and I'll use a gradient. Select any gradient you want. Now I'll go into each one separately or maybe it will be easier if I place it here. Right click, format shape. Open up the fill. If you have this bucket selected, open up fill and you will have the gradient. Now I want two colors, the first color and the second color. And the colors will be the entire topic of this presentation. Now, since this is a adventure, let's go to more colors and what color screams adventure? I would lean towards a red one and let's just try it out. If this will not be cool, we will change it. But if this will look good, we'll stay with it. Okay, let's say that I've selected my strong red color. I'll select it for both of them. I have the recent color or I can eyedropper and use this color. Okay, now I would like this to be transparent and this a bit visible. So what you can do is to select the second color and work with the transparency. But I wanted the transparency to appear here on the top side. That's no problem. Just switch to the first color make it transparent. If you don't like the angle, just select the angle to 90 degrees. 100, sorry, 90 degrees. Okay, let's make it transparent to see what am I doing. Okay, perfect. Now, I think this already looks interesting, but I'll also select the second color and make it a bit transparent because I want even more flavor and flow into this design. So once you are ready with that, I have this object. I don't have to work with the transparency as strongly here because I can just go to Home, Format Painter and paint the format over. You see, exactly the same thing happens and I have my ready and prepared object and doesn't this look cool? Um, now as I see them close to each other, I think this color is too strong. So I'll select the second color and make it 50%. Select the second one, 50%. Okay, a little bit less. Okay, now I'll make them closer to each other and I'll press Ctrl G because I have them grouped. And this is like the initial design I want to have. Now I just could insert text box, insert the text box, adventure. I'll select the text, I make the text white. 
of course I would need uh, let's just try with open sense just so we have a base for this design and adventure we should be more adventurous adventure presentation and now it's up to you if you want this to be white if you want the text to be black so it is like subtracted from this object or you can really subtract it let me quickly ungroup this take the adventure text and the right one I hope okay select the object first then with the shift key select adventure and just go to format merge shapes and select combine you see what happens and now the adventure text is not strongly visible but this is all what you want to do you want to experiment with this design for example I'll set this here I'll select the second color and I'll lower the transparency because I want the adventure text to be more visible if you want the color to go up higher you just select the second color and you place it higher you see what I'm doing here I have a simple object and I am completely reshaping it and we have our presentation ready now you might not see the right side because I have my screen a bit bigger but this is the initial design I wanted to teach you in this short tutorial I hope you do like classes like that it was extremely entertaining to create this thank you for your attention in this lesson and see you in the next